Hey guys, I'm back. I think I'm back. Controls, camera. Okay. Pretty sure I'm good. Alright, so I just snuck around and stole the most expensive part of the armor, so that'll save me over a gold. The uh, cloak, I can totally sweet talk off of that guy. That's not a problem. The gloves, I know not to try to bargain with the guy now, so it's not a huge deal. Let's try the cloak first, see if I remember the conversation path. Hello, my lord. How can I help you? I'd like to buy a cloak. A gold cloak, to be precise. Unfortunately, the city watch have their clothes made elsewhere. Uh... Precisely. I'll be able to show them the quality of your work. Prove to them that you're at the top of your game. Yes, you have a point. That's my work. We, we can give it a go. But I will need to be compensated for the materials. It's a... Um, hmm, 25 stacks? That's fine. And the deal is done. Oh, thank you. Oh, wait, it won't be long. Top of your game. Take care, my lord. See you soon, I hope. I'll try not to let them see the blood all over it when I finish killing them all. Nobody seems to care anyway. Uh, sell... Dang, I have so much crud to sell. Alright, we sell this. Yep. Sell these. Sell that. Sell these. So much stuff to sell. Gauntlets. All right, Flint. Welcome, my lord. Good day to you. I hear you're a leather craftsman. Aye, that I am. Are you interested in my wares? What do you need? Uh. I can see you have a good range of supplies in stock. Aye, there's something for everyone here, and in every size, too. Leather sells easily in King's Landing, like anywhere else. Anyway, I've no time for small talk. Either we strike <coughs> a deal, or you move on. I need gloves and boots. But they have to be in the City Watch's colors. That's my only condition. Hmm, I see. I do have something in stock that might be right for you, but I'll need to make a few adjustments. For 95 silver stags, I can make the lot for you. Uh, sign, whatever. So, it's a deal. Here, this is for you. So I know he'll bump the price Wait, up to 120 a something if I... Away. Here, it's done. Take good care of them. No. There you go. The gloves and boots are good. Shut your face. There we go. Oh, kind of like a guardian from uh, Gene Forge. The uh, mostly I'm looking at the helmet. The helmet gives it away to me. Makes me think that. I can't. I can't say I'm a fan of the pointy boots, though. Not a fan. This is where I stop. From this point forth, you're on your own. Be very careful once you're inside. Fourth. Pry as much information from the guards inside as you can. Gotcha. While you're infiltrating this place, I'm going to inform Lord Halton of our progress. Gotcha. I will be back shortly. Gotcha. Then I'll return here to await your arrival. Good luck, Sir Alistair. Yep. And I'm not going to mess with that stupid quest that starts over there this time.
that was a waste of my time. Huge waste of my time. Holy crud was that a waste of my time. Just pacing back and forth across the stupid city. Yeah, well, it did give me a lot of silver. I will admit that. It would compensate for what I've spent on this, but although... Here, tell me it's what hopeless. I... Oops, I what pressed space matter? bar. Sorry. Wagers. You were speaking of wages just now. I want in. We're wagering on how long that bastard lockdown there is going to last. There's quite a number of us in, so we've gathered a tidy little sum so far. I see. If you want in, ask Captain Karen. He's by the dungeon entrance. Can't go that way. That's all I really needed to know. I don't think these guys will tell me anything. See, and there's nobody here. Hey, you. Don't I know you? Maybe. My friends tell me I have a pretty common face. You can totally yeah. see the face inside well, this helmet. What you want? I want to place a wager on this prisoner, too. That's great. The more, the merrier. I want to see what I'm putting my money on first, though. Go ahead. If he's dead, let me know immediately. Whee! And now I have to bribe somebody to get the heck out. You, Humphrey. I haven't seen you before. What brings you around here? Did you come to see the prisoner? Uh... Yes, I want to see what state he's in before making a wager. You'll have to come back later then. I shut the door. With this much money at stake, I don't want anybody getting any ideas. I wager that he would live three more days, and I don't want anyone killing him when I'm not looking. I see. Do 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 I need a key to open this gate. No! His clothing. It carries the crest of Sarwick. All that effort. And for what? Garwin! No! I can't believe it! Perhaps it's someone else. A servant. Anybody. Wait. What's this? A letter? We couldn't be bothered to model! Uh, blah, 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 burst. I think this is it. By the flame! And the girl's lock of hair is still attached to the letter. It really is him. Forgive me, little brother. I should have returned sooner. What on earth were you doing in that cellar, Garwin? Why did someone want you dead? His murderer. He's here somewhere. One of them he dead because he put way too much starch in his oh. collar. How's it going? Did you find out who it was? I'd rather get rid of the body before it starts to rot. Lie! No, I have no idea. Yeah, I suspected as much. Even his assassin wasn't able to tell us anything. He's locked up in here, isn't he? Yeah, in a cell close by. But I am in charge of the keys, and I open the doors for no one. I need to see him. No way. There's too much money at stake for me to let anyone see him. If you kill him, I'll lose all my money. And that would really get my knickers in a twist. Uh, if I killed him here, no one would ever know. I'm going to be killing everybody in this stupid building anyway to get this guy out. I tried every conversation option I could think of to get that assassin out of here without killing everyone, and every single one of them led to combat. And th this guy's wanting 75 silver, I think? Of course, this would be a one-on-two fight. Uh, what do I care? Too bad. It isn't just your money that you're going to lose today. Say your prayers, roughneck. You're dead! Bowen! Help! Uh, 
I mean, they try to act like there's consequences for your actions in this, but so far I haven't seen any. None. Just go around killing everyone. Just click the right dialogue options and it doesn't matter. That's right, I cared more about my 75 silver and getting a Warsai. Warsai. Oh, that's an upgrade for Moors when I get to him. If I can get this item to transfer over. Dum da dum 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 dum. Hey, buddy. Did you get a good eye for you, son of a whore? I ask the questions here. You're Oris, aren't you? Bugger off. Listen to me, fool. I'm not a gold cloak, but I can kill you right now if you so wish. On the other hand, should you answer my questions, I'll make it worth your while. You're not from the City Watch. City You're Watch? The truth, I have nothing to lose. Ask your questions. Uh, why did they what do did this you to do you? To get beaten so badly? Nothing, other than try to defend myself. I came here to collect my payment. I brought two of my men, just in case. But it all went wrong. The man who hired me for the murder tricked me. Instead what a jerk! Me, they tried to arrest me. I killed three guards in a rage. Their friends didn't take kindly to this, so they beat us senseless. Who? Who hired you? That bastard, Janos Slint. It was the commander of the City Watch himself who told me to slit the throats of the two men hiding in that damn cellar. We'd known each other for some time. He came to me in the tavern I frequent. He said he had a job for me. Said it would pay 300 silver stags. Enough to feed us all for more than a year. I asked for part of the money up front, as I always uh -huh. do. He told me to meet him at his office, and everything went well. But when two of my men and I came to collect the other half of the money after I'd completed the job, he had us thrown into this hole. He tricked me. How did you meet? Did you serve as a gold cloak? No, not at all. But I've done this kind of favor for the commander in the past. There'd never been any problem until now, so I didn't have any reason to doubt him. As I told you, I was in his office upstairs when he made his offer. He paid me the advance without any trouble. When he left to get the money, I took a quick look around his office. There was a letter. I can't read, but I recognize the seal I saw at the bottom of that letter. It was Valar's, the Queen's lapdog. Valar? Are you sure? I know what I'm talking about. He and his bloodseekers have been getting in our way since they came to King's Landing. We're needed less and less because of them. I realized too late that it was them I was working for. I should have turned down this offer. The Bloodseekers. Those damned thugs. If Valar really is behind all this, that letter may just help me bring him down. I have to get into this office. Get me out of here. I told you everything you need to know. Your turn to help me. These scoundrels of the City Watch betrayed me. And now they're wagering on when I'm going to die. I'm the leader of the Reapers. If you save my life, you won't regret it. If you're telling the truth, and I find the letter you spoke of, then maybe I'll come back to free you. But if you're lying, by law it will cost you. Best This armor is actually not bad. Okay, to get up there, I've got to talk to these two bozos. What's the matter? Where is the commander? I haven't seen him for some time. He left for the Red Keep earlier. Commander Janice Lint spends a lot of time there these days. Actually, he goes there more and more often. I heard that he might become a lord or something. Ta-da! Those two have all the info. Thank you for the leather ambraces. I wonder if I took my gloves off, would they consider me out of uniform and attack me? Took place. Right next to where the murders took place. It's so hilarious. I can't believe it. Hey, you. What are you doing here? 
I've been ordered to collect some important documents for the small council of the Red Keep. Oh? Upon whose orders? Commander Janos Slint in person. The commander? Why would he ask you to do that? He's not here. Let's make the most... I was traveling by his side to the Red Keep. Once there, he said he'd forgotten some documents and that I had to quickly return them to him or there'd be trouble. Yeah. When the commander gives an order, you better do as he says. I'd rather not have any trouble. Go ahead. But move your ass. There'll be trouble, all right. I'll try to get that guy out peacefully again, but it's not going to work. Thanks for your silver. Oh, oh, hey, I found something. Wait, it's the personal seal of the City Watch commander. Better take it. I will probably need it to free. Oh, us. well, there we go. Maybe I can't get him out peacefully then. In which case, I probably didn't need to kill that other guy. Also, it sounded like I revealed something else, but maybe it was downstairs. So that's the famous letter. Oris wasn't lying. I swore to help him if he was telling the truth. But am I really obliged to keep this promise? If things get out of hand, I risk my own skin. All that for the man who killed Garwin. Let's have a look. And it's not even marked. Da -da 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 -da. Go away, tutorial. Whatever. I need to figure out where I revealed something downstairs, then. In here, perhaps? In this stew pot? 24 silver, probably in the stew pot. Key to success in this game. Press R randomly, all over the place. And now this guy's here to watch and go, GASP, YOU'VE KILLED THAT GUY! Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Oh, at least I can get him out peacefully, hopefully, now. I'm gonna save before I do it, though. Secrets? Secrets? Bye, Gowan. See you later. Save. New save. Save. Did you find the letter? See, I wasn't lying. Yes, you were right. And I may need you and your men sometime soon, so I'll help you. But this won't be easy. There's no room for error. If we make even the slightest mistake, the whole city watch will come down on us. And we'll have to kill them all. Consequence anyway. free. Untie me. Thank We're going to pretend Oops. you're under my guard by order of their commander. If we can fool the guards, we shouldn't have any trouble. I like the way you think. If we succeed, it will be a remarkable feat. And if we fail, it'll be a slow and painful Not really. death for the both of us. May the light show us the way. Come on, dude. Let's go out of here. Da 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 da. What's all this commotion? And what is this criminal doing here? He's supposed to be in the dungeons. Uh. I was ordered to escort this prisoner to the Red Keep. What? I'm the one in charge of these dungeons. If a transfer had been ordered, I'd know about it. The seal of a superior should shut Not him up. Not this time. This transfer needs to be kept secret. Here's the commander's personal seal. He entrusted me with it for this mission, and I was told to show it to no one but you and the jailers of the Red Keep. But what about the wages? It was the commander who started it all. What shall we do with all the money? Not my problem. If I don't get this prisoner to the Red Keep quickly, you're going to have a lot more problems than a few missing groats. All right, take it easy. 